and good evening. Thanks for staying up late with us tonight. I'm Amy Wegman. Well, tonight, hundreds of people in Southwest Florida can say that they voted for the first time, not because they recently came of age, but because of a law that passed two years ago here in our state that restores voting rights for previously convicted felons who have completed their sentences. Fox 4's Leslie Delisboer was at a march in Lee County called Free the Vote where lots of people showed up to cast their early ballot, one of them voting for the first time in 41 years. We're marching for justice for our sisters and our brothers. For one of the chants heard today as several people in Fort Myers marched to the polls, casting their ballots. The Florida Rights Restoration Coalition marched to the Carrie Robinson Center alongside convicted felons, now returning citizens, voting for the first time. This is like our election day at the Florida Rights Restoration Coalition. We wanted to make sure that uh, returning citizens uh, were safe, voted early, and could walk into their voting booth uh, with, with their friends and family and do so in a celebratory way. Neil Voles, deputy director of the coalition, also had his voting rights restored thanks to Amendment 4. He says this is personal and he feels liberated after voting. This isn't a Republican or Democrat thing. This is a people thing. This is about, you know, the principles of, of democracy and making sure that somebody has the ability to have their voice heard in their community. Another convicted felon, Lance Wissinger, served time in prison after getting behind the wheel while drunk, causing a crash, killing his friend. But he says because of Amendment 4, his rights were restored. And after 41 years, he was able to cast a vote at the Kerry Robinson Center right behind me. And as I'm going through marking names, I, I, I started tearing up. Um, it was, I started to be overcome with emotion. And the most surreal thing was to come out and have an entire group of people cheering for me. I did my time, I paid my debt. When a debt is paid, it's paid. I did everything I needed to do. And so here I am today being able to use my voice and to have a difference in my community. And Monique Smith, who at 19 was charged with aggravated assault during a domestic violence situation, tells me after fighting to get her rights restored, she came out today to make sure others could let their voices be heard. To know uh, that they decided that it wasn't that they didn't want to vote, they just could not vote. So once given the opportunity to vote, they were excited and ecstatic to get out. In Fort Myers, Leslie Delaspor, Fox 4.